Never mind. Cut, you said cut or come. Which one do you want more? We could do both. And we'll get we'll fit them both in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. You're definitely kidnapped, butt plugged, and then returned. No, well, wait, what? <laughs> Song. Just, I was like, thinking that singing, like, like something like podcast. I was gonna say something like that, like <laughs> like uh, like something that like says like the brutal view, like yeah. it's some child some show, dumb shit that something like that. I was yeah. thinking. If we can think of, if we just go off and start going like boop, boop, boop in the middle of the podcast, and one of us try to sing to it, I don't know. And it, I it, have an it idea. Catches. What <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get a cameo. Of a famous person. Saying the brutal view. Welcome to the brutal view. Oh fuck, that's smart as hell. But You're like, a genius. Like Mike Tyson. I, oh, I can't, I can't. I'm not even going to try to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I Who mean, could we get? Who could we get? I'm, I was just started thinking about that. I was like, "Wow, I want like so many different people to say the welcome to the brutal view now." A camera. That's what I wanted to fucking Google. You want to Google a camera? Cameo. Dude, they have wicked famous people. But dude, it's so I wanna become famous enough where someone's like, I wish you could hit wish me a happy birthday so I can waste ten seconds of my life to make fucking a hundred dollars and say, Hey you piece of shit, happy birthday. Yeah. And like, please, some people want you to like roast them too. Like some yeah, of the comedians yeah. are like fucking that'd be amazing. Like, get paid like a hundred, five hundred. Shooter bucks. McGavin. What? From uh from uh, the Golfing. Oh, why the fuck can't right? I think? We... Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. It's my goddamn favorite movie. One of my favorites. We can Dude, get queer We voices. need to talk more about Adam Sandler on this podcast, by the way, because Shout he's out. Manchester, New Hampshire native. Shout out to like, him, dude. He literally <laughs> is a comedian turned movie star that supports all and of his friends. Yeah. yeah. That's some cool shit. He literally puts all his friends in movies. He started a company. He's That's a crazy fucking... Terrific medicine production. <laughs> um, yeah, and he like when he visited like visits in New Hampshire. We see pictures of him. I have never seen. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't either. But like he dresses pictures. like he's from Manchester. Right. He'll have like fucking gym right. shorts on, but like a puffy jacket. Yeah. Like you're like, yo, right. that's my dude right there. He knows. Yeah. Um, cameo. Um, you found someone hilarious. No, these people are whack. It's like a bunch of new kids. No, oh. not not kids. So well, there's a kid. Not famous people. Fuck those people. Right. Um. Let's see. Let's do athletes, magi- comedians. Let's get this funny. New comedians don't know any of you. Michael Rappaport. <laughs> that fucking guy's voice. Yeah. I'm Tyrone. I'm Tyrone. <laughs> Welcome to the brutal view. <laughs> oh yeah, we could get this good. Oh man, dude, we, we gotta get some good people. Bro, nah, I'm not. All right, let's do it. How much is it? Wait, is that the guy? That guy, my time. Like, yeah, Gilbert I Godfrey? can't do the voice, but yeah, <laughs> I can't do it either. I can't. Hi, hi. <laughs> I'm Gilbert Godfrey. I can't do it. It's hard to do. Yeah, it is. It's weird. That's shoe a, nice, a, dude. Do you know voice. shoe nice twenty two? Yeah, d- d- is he dead? No, nah, he's. I see it. I saw. I heard some, I saw, saw, I saw something saw. recently that that he died. No, I saw. Uh, someone sent me a TikTok of him eating like some weird shit. He's on TikTok, huh? Eating re- weird shit still, bro. That's good. Like twenty years later. Oh no, twenty. Oh no, no. Fifteen dude, that years. Dude, that dude was a sensation before. Like the dude was shoving a remote up his ass on YouTube. Remember that video oh, back in like two thousand like yeah. seven when YouTube was like three years old. It was like <laughs> a, a race my World of Warcraft yeah, account or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. He had like a stream of videos that. He always with his parents and yeah. um yeah he blew up around that time. Good, so we're gonna ignore that. We'll yeah, get to well, it. Well, uh, we should probably start the podcast yeah. now, right? No, yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the brutal view. That kind of rhymed. I am brute. <laughs> that did rhyme. That was nice. Nice. We gotta think. We gotta come something. Come up. Uh, never mind. Cut. You said cut or come. Which one do you want more? We could do both. And we'll get we'll fit them both in there. 
I'm uh, Brute. I'm Toaster. We have a, a red knife from episode four, actually. Uh, on the... That was the same. That was the last time we saw the duct tape, too. And then we have scotch mm. tape. That just means it was a weaker person. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's rough. I don't know. How you been since last weekend? How, you have... What did you do? Um, let's see. I didn't poop my pants, poop on the walls, um, anything like that. And wanna, uh, I always want to kill someone. There's always somebody you want to kill. So we can't mm-hmm. say, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't try any crazy drugs. Good. Eh, I want to have fun. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a... Yeah, I don't know. Just nothing. I'm just trying to make conversation because I absolutely did nothing yeah. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Sounds like the last uh, two years of my life. <laughs> yeah, now I kind of feel you. I didn't do shit. I got really angry at a lot of people on the road. Specifically some fucking bikers, dude. I can't fucking stand Sorry, cyclists. No. There you go. I was going to say, Hells Angels, we're not talking to you. Uh, yeah. Please don't murder me. I want a motorcycle. I still haven't got one because I'm a vagina and I don't want to pay for more shit. I'm cheap. <laughs> But, yeah, I I always wanted one, but I feel like I space out so bad driving and doing anything. <laughs> I'd just be like, Ugh. that's probably a smart choice then. Just I'm just like looking it. around, like because I'll drive in the car, that's and probably not gonna and just like out. 15 minutes later, I'm like, I have no idea where I just came from. Like I don't I don't remember getting from where I stopped dozing off to now. You've that's never happened to you. Uh, I mean, it has. Yeah, but, but it happens to me, like, all the time. I was gonna say, I feel like normally I'm, like, subconsciously, like, yeah, I'm just, I know I'm going in this area or this destination, so I know, yeah, I know like, where I'm gonna end I up. I think it's just, like... Thing. I never, like, go and then just, like, well, how did I get here? Oh, uh, no, yeah, like, I'll, for, like, it's not like I'm, like, fucking <laughs> weaving out of traffic. Like, if I'm on the highway going straight, like, it's like that, but I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Like, it just... I'm in a motor. It's like, <laughs> how did I get here? Yeah. <laughs> Shit! I'm in the back of fucking this guy's head. I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> you're probably gonna end up like at someone's house. You're just like, what the hell? Still on your motorcycle? But yeah, yeah um, bicyclists can bicyclists eat can, my can fuck off. Yeah, eat my bum bum. What the hell is wrong with like? I I understand riding a bike or i did it so much when I was a kid, pretty like violently too. I drove like into traffic. It was pretty fucked up, but. I eventually, <laughs> I uh, I eventually just found out that if I just stick to the back roads around my neighborhood, yeah. and just go around like a hundred times. No one's still, going like, to fucking hit yeah, you, anyways. Exactly, yeah. oh, it's mad fun. God. It's effective. Like you don't have to go like across town, down Miles all the main and... roads and shit. I don't, I don't really get that. It's like you know, there's like a shit ton of cars over here. And half of them can't see the other cars. Never mind a fucking I know, biker. Yeah. Like, what the and they hell? think they own the goddamn road. And, and right. you legally get so angry when you hit them. It's like, you <laughs> die. Like, come on. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I usually get distracted by the ones wearing the spandex. In like a yeah, I extremely do gay way. Men. Oh, when? Yeah. Okay. I think it's such a boner. All the blood rushes in my wiener and I just pass out and hit them. That's how I kill them. That's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds this sounds lovely. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of these episodes. I uh I feel like what happened to the biker that I almost I mean, I almost hit him with my truck, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll start there, I guess. But it was a hundred percent his fault because he stopped at a light when like the thing was telling me not to turn. So like I didn't go. I was like go like what are you doing type of thing and then he didn't go and then the light turned green for me and he went Motherfucker. so i went and he went and he like he like skidded like right in front of the truck and just stopped and i went in front of him i was like yeah fuck you but i like felt bad immediately after and then was like nah fuck that guy yeah like, what the hell and like he had he was going left i was going right yeah, oh, so, so what the he fuck? he just had to go while the light, while it said for him to go, but I, I feel like he was waiting, I don't know. I know something similar happened to me once. <laughs> was it over on 28? Yeah, kind of. Like, the gas station? I don't know if we can even, like, say names of stores, can we? Yeah. Near the speedway? That yes. area? Dude, so one time, <laughs> I hate this That's fucking, exactly where it I was. hate this old, cunt, smelly bitch I'll remember <laughs> for the rest of my life. Oh, no. And nothing even happened, really, but it just pissed me off. So fucking, 
I'm coming up, and she's like going through the path. And I had a red light, so I'm I'm stopping. But like you could just see her like driving, and like she like started crossing. I just like stopped. <laughs> she like fumbled, almost fell, and she oh, no. she looks at me. She's like, ah! <laughs> like didn't like didn't like react. She reacted and then yelled. Didn't like yell while she reacted. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. What the fuck are you doing, psychopath? And she's like, you almost hit me. I'm like, no. Like I, if I did, I'd be like, oh shit, like sorry, but. Yeah. Oh, it was wild. Yeah. I, I don't, she was just a cunt. She was a boomer. So wait, was she... Did, I'm sorry, did you say she was on a bike? or did Yeah. She just, oh, but okay. she was like going slow. Like she, she just like slow on a bike. Went. Okay, yeah. Like, for some reason I thought... for like, like I went back to it and I was like, wait, was she just walking? And you're just... Like, <laughs> oh, no, but yeah, she was like doing the thing and then... Yeah, fuck her. Fuck Jesus. Her. Yeah, it was wild. It was really was funny. Wild. I felt... I was like... I'm like, like my stomach dropped too. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Like, yeah, what? Like, oh, I'm kill you psycho like motherfucker! Shit. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good actually. I um, when I I was driving past an old lady that was walking once in Manchester, right down the street from where I work too. This was very stupid that I did this, <coughs> and um, it was actually right in front of a school too. This is just gonna keep getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the and, naked and kid was, fell out the back, and it was a just... child involved. So <laughs> this is just the, hold on. Hear me out though first. So I was driving. Um, and I was actually in my Corolla. I wasn't even in my truck. So I was just driving in this little ass Corolla, whipping it down fucking whatever street that is in Manchester. I can't fucking think Man of the name of it road. right now. No, um, it's. I'm not, I'm gonna take mad long to find. Uh, it, so I'm yeah, just gonna yeah, go over fine. it. Um. And yeah, and the old woman was going through the crosswalk, <laughs> <laughs> with a child next to her. And I was flying up to the crosswalk. I was going like 40. I was going mad fast. And I, I knew she was there. I could see her. But I stopped <laughs> pretty close to her <laughs> and the kid. Um, to the point where she... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. She fell over. <laughs> she, uh, oh. But she was like, okay, so <laughs> Stephen Hawking, her guy. <laughs> her and the kid were like walking, and as I got closer, I was already breaking at this point. But I feel like to her, it didn't look like that for some reason. So oh. she kind of took the kid, and she like started like running with it a little bit. So I like <laughs> she just like started jogging to the end of the crosswalk. I was still stopping. I was like, I don't know what she's <laughs> like, doing. Oh, what is going and on? And then by the time I stopped, she fell forward, and the kid was just like. Oh! <laughs> I just floored it. I booked it. I, I took off. You're like, I'm not getting involved in this. Yeah, but nothing like I didn't. I wasn't that close to them. I feel like she just kind of freaked out. But yeah, I totally harassed an old woman in her job. <laughs> That's fucking. It is fucked up. Yeah. Have you ever like watched TV and drive? No, I probably watched, shouldn't even be saying this. I watched. <laughs> Parts. Well, I've I haven't watched TV. I've listened to like podcasts, and I've listened to um. Fuck, I had something. On, yeah, sure. But I guess mainly podcasts. Why? What do you watch in your car? No, I did it the other day and like TV. Yeah, I put like a fifty-five inch TV on my passenger side. <laughs> but like, I was watching the uh, Hulu. I was watching Dave because I was watching it like little bits and pieces of at work. Jesus, <laughs> I was just like, driving? yeah, I don't good of a show. I don't know why I did it. But, like, think about it, like, I was like, that's wicked, like, fun. That was fun, because I could watch TV. So, wait, have you finished it yet? Well, this season? Yeah, I got home. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. I just, I just burped into the mic. That hurt so something. bad. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't know where that came from. Yeah. And, yeah, Little Dicky, Dave. Yeah, there it is. I was, le completely. I was completely legally driving yeah. home one day. Yeah, he's a cool shit. He's yeah, a really, he's really good. He actually, really he good said guy. he's always wanted to be um like a comedian, but he loves rap type of shit. Oh uh, yeah, he was saying like I've like he didn't know he could rap. Right. Yeah. And then he's like, oh shit, like I'm amazing at this. I love this, and yeah. I do want to be a great rapper, but I also want to be a comedian. He found his fucking niche because acting is his shit. Like mm. he's a good comedy actor, and he's a good rapper. Yeah. Like I mean. He's a great rapper, but I feel like he could he should continue doing shows and TV. Oh, definitely. He'll make so much more money. And like, like a lot of his cast are like not big people, but like people that I'm like, oh, look at that. And I'm like, they all work so well together. Like right. that show, like like it kind of makes you want to like look and like you're like getting involved in it. Right. But um, I was listening to his music today. Where I was trying to find new songs. 
He has some like pretty decent songs. Like doesn't have a lot of music though. I know he no. doesn't really at all. How many albums? Just like one or two. I don't think he has an album. He has one. I know he has one because he was bitching. He was like he was saying in an interview. He was like, "Yeah, like my dad could die," and someone I'll post a picture. Be like, "When's that album coming out?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm like one of those fans, though. No, like, yeah. Dude, like, he's like not put out music for like eight years. Oh, it's no like, shit, it's been that long. It's not that, I mean, like he hasn't put out like projects. Like he'll put out a song oh, like, here and there. It's like, big whoopty like... fucking do, dude. You can rap your ass off. Stop doing freestyles and give us a, I know, his a freestyles project, are dude. Sweet. His freestyles are incredible. Yeah. The, but, so, you know, his, in the show, her name is Allie. Yes. And then one of those episodes they broke up. Yes. The one they went to the wedding. Right. You know he's a whole song about her? Yes. Dude, that's wild. I was like, I don't know. I thought it was like the drug molly. So I was like, yeah, that's to be a gangster ass song. <laughs> and he's like, this is one of the realest shits I've ever done. I'm like, oh shit, he probably like overdosed or something. I don't know. I think it's kind of supposed to be like a double entendre. It's like, oh, I'm talking about drugs, but I'm actually talking about women. So it's like kind of supposed to be like it's oh. supposed to appeal to both crowds, I guess. Uh, for lack uh, of better, that sounded weird when I said yeah, it. Like that. I, I didn't mean bit. to say it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that shit was wild. And if I have to watch that episode, I don't think I'm gonna make it through. I'm emotionally attached to Dave now. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> he went that far. Um, <laughs> he's an incredible actor. He's an incredible rapper. He should make more fucking music, though. I'm like a. We'll get him on the pod. Sure. It's going to be our goal. Yeah. I'll set that as the first Patreon goal. Let's get little dicky on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. People will be like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to do that. <laughs> Just, can you come over and sit on my couch and freestyle some <laughs> sweet ass beats, it's man? Like, yeah, you want to sit on my futon? It's like a, a $80 futon. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best, but it fits. We could have a third person here. We got to get a third mic, dude. Fucking. Do a podcast. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That'd be sweet. And my cousin does. Uh, you know, I want to little chip in a little bit. We should have more people on the podcast. I'd love to do a guest, but we kind of have to do it by phone right now. We can't do it like uh, unless we get a third mic and will we stand it in front of the futon in this fucking room? Like you know what I mean? We need a new setup. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but this brought me up to a, a question. I want to bring up talking about Dave. Okay. So, would you ever go to your ex's wedding? And it's a question you'd be like, yes. oh, like, all of them? Or all like, of my exes? Yeah, like, to see your serious relationship. I've never had anything but serious relationships. Yeah. Like, and yes to all of them. What? Really? Yeah. I'm like a, so I'm like that crazy ex-girlfriend, like, I'll murder you and I'm extremely jealous <laughs> for like a good year. <laughs> But after that year is done, dude, I'm I'm cool. Yeah, you know what I, I mean. Know. I I'm like, like I'm like happy for them for wherever they are yeah. in their life. I I want nothing but the best for them. Yeah, I mean like thing. I just I feel no like it'd be my weird. Heart. I don't think it'd be weird. Now, like seeing like their depends. family. I guess and if stuff. if they like if I'm like going up there and then it's like my brother with them, I'm like this is weird, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I guess that would be strange. Uh, for but... some reason, I like I would never do it. I I would go to like fuck something up. Just to like make it look weird. Oh yeah, I could, I'd, I'd potentially cause something. Like if, like, I'd probably at least two of the relationships. I'd probably cause something, but oh. it wouldn't be serious though. It'd probably be like a, oh, I hate you, love you, see you later. Yeah, no. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about that after watching. I was like, I don't think I could do it. Like I just like weird. I, don't know. I mean, it also depends. Like if, like I said, if I well, yeah, recently like... broke up with like someone, like I yeah, know, do you know my. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My last true. relationship was a, a several year relationship. Within that first year, I probably would have killed someone. Yeah. If I was like at that, I guess area, the way I'm looking at you know it is, I mean? it depends on how you break up. I shouldn't say I would have killed someone either. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have reacted that poorly. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think I would have been. Oh shit! It does depend on the breakup though. Yeah. If you have like a, especially is that a pretty shitty one and like, yeah, just fuck her. I don't know. I was gonna say it depends on the relationship. That's probably why itself. I'm just so against it. Not even like the breakup though, it. because the the relationship itself could have caused, yeah. just could have been shitty. So then the breakup uh, being yeah. not that good either. You're just like, all right, this is just all around a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't know. I'd I'd do it. I don't know if I'd like happily go to one of them. But I'd do it. I'd go if it was an open bar. I put it this way, if they <laughs> asked me to they said they want me to be there, I'll go. If they invite me, I probably won't just Oh, show like if up. they're like, Hey, here's an invite or like if they reached out to you, be like, Hey, whatever. They're just like, Yeah, I want you at this wedding here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I don't know. I'm what like, about you? Are you, are you the nah, same? I no. Go. Like even if they were like, I, I want you at the wedding. Like they reached out nah, to you personally. Like, Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Good for you. I don't know why. Yeah, I can't. I don't like holding hate in my heart, man. I get too angry. Well, it's not like it. I don't know. That's hate, bro. No matter how you slice it, you yeah, hate I guess your heart. So, huh? That's what it is. Yeah, you'll get over it in five years. <laughs> okay. Maybe ten. Maybe never. <laughs> I don't mean get over it. I mean, like, you won't hate her in five or ten years, I guess. Yeah, if yeah. That's a nicer way to put it. Yeah, I get you. It I probably sounds bad, no matter how no, we say no, it. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah. mm. So I, I kind of want to transition what? into a pretty dark topic. The accusations of a certain comedian. Oh, not yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. Not let's... yeah. <laughs> um... I mean, a lot of shit kind of happened. Oh, man. Actually, I should probably check it out. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, we got this. Yeah. Lot yeah, of yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 The com- the com- the comedy world. The comedy world. Um, the when... comedy weedy world. <laughs> the comedy? The Chris Deal... The Chris... Sorry. Chris D'Elia. Delilah. 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 I almost said D'Elia. I was like, what the hell? Was accused of um, basically sexual harassment, probably like a sexual misconduct of some sort. I think some, a few of them did say rape. A, a few came out, like I think at least three or four of them said rape. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know those like a lot, a lot. There's a, there's like a multiple women. I think that's why it's so striking to everyone. I thought it was like one or two. Exactly. Oh, I think that's what most people thought. Whitney Cummings is like his boy. And I follow Whitney Cummings like a lot. Not that sounded creepy. I follow Whitney Cummings like shit on all her like she platforms. wears this perfume on Monday, <laughs> yeah. this perfume on Thursday. Yeah, when she wakes up, she usually goes to this cafe. She smells so and... much better when she's sleeping than she's awake. <laughs> yeah, no, she uh, she has a dope podcast. You should check it out. She fucking posted mad shit on the like YouTube channel and the podcast and shit. And she was like, "Yeah, I won't uh, I won't like stand for this type of behavior. Like I, I'm disgusted with them, and they're like pretty close. Oh, so I was yeah. like, oh fuck! Like either she's just jumping out of like oh. all the women coming out, or this is really fucking serious. And there's like you know, yeah, even like, um, ba bum ba bum bum bum, but um, Tiger Belly. That's the name. Uh, yeah. Bobby Lee was saying something on his podcast. Tiger yeah. Belly. He was like, I'm going to like be heartbroken if like I have to lose a friend. Right. I was like, oh, shit. It's that serious. Yeah. So I think at least a few of them said rape, and he, there's multiple underage girls that have screenshots of him direct messaging him. And like the way them. he is, like he just kind of looks like someone that would right. do that. Right. Dude, have you seen You on Netflix? It's like a know. really shitty, like, so Netflix has a series called You, where it's, um... Like a pretty much a remake of Dexter. This oh, dude like stalks yeah. women and like falls in love with them and forces them to fall in love he's with in him it? and then murders them. No, but well, he's in the second season. <laughs> I was like, wait, then what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he's in the second season. He's like one of like the bad guys, but he's like a pervert in the second season. Oh, he like fucks Christ. kids, I think, in the second what season. The... So it doesn't help. That oh, he I think the I role think I've well. seen something <laughs> about that. Yeah, and then he was on another show. He's on a few different shows. He's in a few different movies, dude. He's like in Workaholics? A, I think he might have he's they appeared took there. Um I don't know. He uh, might be on it. They took I I saw they removed some other episode too for some show I was like, he's oh, in no shit. A bunch of different movies. He's on mad different co- uh, comedians podcasts. Like he's on almost everyone's oh, I didn't know podcast. He was like an actor. Like, I haven't really yeah. noticed him in movies. He's in a lot of like low budget comedy movies. I shouldn't say mad different movies, just yeah, but so like movies, hot but... rod movies. Yeah, and exactly. Paul Blart, yeah, he's Paul like Blart, a uh, he's like a third or fourth, fourth actor person in one of those. Oh, like he just shows up, right? Oh, but I don't really want to give him that much praise because if he is guilty, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, well, he's a fucking pervert if he's guilty. Like he's a fucking. Nah. Those type of people deserve everything they have coming to them in jail. You, you know, know what I mean? you know, OnlyFans. 
Yeah. I have one. I'm making one. You should. I'm gonna. And I'm gonna make a good amount of money. I'm gonna wear a fucking GoPro in my head. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of sex offenders. You would make a shit ton exactly, of money, bro. Dude. You would make a fuck ton of money. Exactly. Dude. He's beating the fuck out of like those type of people, dude. I might I might just do it for free. Yeah, I mean, well, you have to to start the OnlyFans. You have to do. You have to put some content on there so they can like get subscribed. You know, so yeah, you gotta kill like, a few people first should, like, with it recording. No, not kill them. You beat the shit out of them. Yeah, Break so their like legs. Because like if I, I beat someone, I'd be like, "Listen, he's a bad boy." But if I kill him, they can't remember he's a bad boy. Yeah, that's a <laughs> fact. Such a bad boy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That was really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna become multi gazillionaire from this idea. You should. I just trademarked it. So if anyone steals it, it was Toast's idea yeah. first. Dickhead. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what were we talking about, Dalia? Yeah. Yeah, he's a pervert, or he might not be. I mean, they all might yeah. be lying, but there's like. Twelve different. I mean, if I there's know. that many different, they're probably. Well, yeah, no, there's no way. It's so not like he did creepy he... shit to some of them, and then some of her are, are accusing of rape. There's no reason all of those would be different yeah. things, and it's not they like would all be the same thing. You know, they what I have mean? a real. Well, they have a voice, but like when um like so something happens with a celebrity with another celebrity, like it all they're like oh it happened to me too. Oh, Oh right. yeah, yeah, it ha- yeah. Like, and they kind of just like make it go on and on and on. Right. It definitely ain't something like that. Yeah. I went way too in depth with that. It made sense though, <laughs> it, it, because it it's creepy. If you look, no, at, if you Google yeah. the, the the trail of breadcrumbs that he's left with a lot of uh, younger girls and older ones too, but yeah, you, but like that doesn't count when you hit up younger girls. I mean, yeah. you're a fucking weirdo. Fucking. And now I can't watch you season two again because you play the role. You're not playing a role. That's like actually you. Yeah, right. That's yeah. fucked up. It's weird. Maybe the fucking the show did you. it to him, though. Dude, they're imagine like, that. They're like, this motherfucker, we gotta expose him. So they give him the role and he's like, yeah, I'll play it. No, like, yeah. he wasn't like this before that show. No way. No, I. but imagine that. <laughs> I, I would say that. I mean... I should tell him that. Maybe we'll make some money. Then I'll beat the fuck out of him <laughs> and record it for my OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, what is your OnlyFans account going to be called? Mine's... Fuck Steve Harvey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> is it F-U-C-K in capital letters? Yes. Okay. That's F-U-C-K, S-T-E-V-E, H-A-R-V-E-Y. And if there's one right now, that that's not me. Don't give him money. We'll, we'll come up with a new name. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll come up with a different one. I think you're I'm Bill know. Cosby. No one probably has that one. <laughs> I'm Bill. <laughs> right? At Could least do, I don't uh, think so. Jeffrey could... Dahmer. Yeah, there we go. Say, the non-lethal Jeffrey Dahmer. That's going to be my name. Non-lethal Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> nice. I don't understand... Didn't Jeffrey Dahmer kill people? Yeah, so how? what's the non-lethal version of I'm it? I'm not going to kill the people. Oh. Bro. So, you're non- just Jeffrey Dahmer without the murder part of him. That sounds like creepy. <laughs> yeah. Who was Jeffrey Dahmer without the murder part of him? Like, I don't even... Alright, I want to tell you a story. Some people listening to this watch, I hope they don't, actually. Uh, Ooh, quick we'll know question. this story. What? Does your family listen to this? Uh, No. Mine does, and it's weird, but shout out to you guys. Shout out to Toaster's fam. You guys are the best. Thanks for listening. Um, everything I say is not true. Everything Eric says, I force him to do. There's a gun behind <laughs> There's me. There's a gun so... behind my head. Yeah. But... That knife that I we... Reintro- Alright, never mind. Um, I... Nah, I don't want to get off topic. Okay. Well, I have a... Are you sure? This okay, I'm going to say it. Long. I'm going to say it. It's going to be quick. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> do you remember, like, when we were hoodlums? Like, listening to Odd Future and shit, dude. Yeah, dude, the 2010 days. Dude, like, the good music and shit. Like, good Tyler Creator, I should say. Now he's like a something. Legit 10 years ago. You can't say dude. I gotta bleep that out. Fuck. You yeah. have to bleep yourself out now, I, too. I do. I will. But you gotta take an invisible shot or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so my mom, I'll get this picture and we're going to put it in the podcast. Okay. My mom found this thing because remember we used to draw the upside down crosses? <laughs> yeah. Dude, my mom found oh, this thing. so much anti-Christ things. Yeah. My mom found this thing. It's an upside down cross on fire. <laughs> and it says, kill people, fuck, sh- burn shit, fuck school. She's like, what is this? I'm like. I don't know. I'm that might have got slipped into my bag or something. I feel like I totally have written that over a lot of things. I know, <laughs> dude. Like, we, yeah, I remember, dude, someone did a school book. Episode? So that was really funny. I'm glad that that she found that shit. Definitely gotta go back to that shit at some point, maybe for the bonus content. But I'm gonna tell you a story uh, now. Yes, <laughs> please. This uh, I, it was a birthday party that I attended. <laughs> what? Oh, we're goofy. <laughs> it was nice. a birthday party I attended. Um. <laughs> Well, I was living at my boy, uh, I don't want to say his name. Did I say his name? I feel like he, I don't know. I'm not going to say his name. I was living at my boy's house in Salem, kind of on a main road, um, <laughs> <laughs> with a few different heads living there, and, uh, we were having a birthday party for my boy Sully, and, uh, yeah, so me and my boy Forrest, who lived there, um, decided it would be a good idea if we <laughs> Sully. So, we allegedly may or may not have got a bunch of Molly in ecstasy. <laughs> we made a giant mixed drink, allegedly, of Captains and Coke, and then <laughs> and then put it in the, in the two liter. <laughs> so, so it was a giant mixed drink, allegedly, that we allegedly did. Um, yeah. And as someone it's allegedly did. <laughs> somebody just, did. <laughs> I'm going to have to chop and screw that a little bit, but... So someone allegedly <laughs> at the party. <laughs> Basically, we went to uh, give my boy Sully a drink. Next thing we know, he started feeling all funny. We're like... <laughs> It, what would like what is this the like the two liter with and then um you know Forrest who lived there was like yeah and we're like oh okay well this two liter just went around the entire party <laughs> of 32 people everyone was passing it around and taking sips of it <laughs> so while we were having this fire at my boy Stully's b-day party at Forrest's house all 32 or 34 of us started rolling. <laughs> started uh, getting really geeky off of a uh, oh, million that's ecstasy. Funny. So we technically <laughs> party. That's um, wild. Do they know? Not all of them. <laughs> they can't, right? How can all of them know? Well, now. It's going to be in the internet forever. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <laughs> I told the story before. <laughs> oh, that's funny as <laughs> fuck. Yeah, it, it's all alleged anyway. This may or may not have oh, happened. Yeah, yeah so. A really good dream. It's a really h- amazing hypothetical story that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, literally, um, so there was a lot of, I can't get into the details of all the shit that happened, but pretty much people got really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking People fuck. started doing some weird shit. In front of other people that they'll probably never forget for the rest of their life, we still remember. <laughs> you have any weird uh, drug story? Like people drugging you? Or are you getting drugged? No. no. I think I got drugged at a bar in Haverhill once. I was out with uh, also some friends that I can't name on here. And uh, when I went there, I only had like a beer or two. And I was at this table with a few girls that I used to hang out with like a long time ago. And after those, like, two beers, I don't remember the rest of the night. I woke up in my bed the next morning. No idea what happened. No one knows how I got home. No one saw me leave. I have no idea what happened. I didn't pay for an Uber. I didn't drive my car. My asshole just reeked of fucking (laughs) Vaseline, and I couldn't (laughs) fart. It smelled like... Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that's... Yeah, no, it just... Really fucked up. peed blood for, like, a few hours. Oh, my... It wasn't... Nothing happened. Like, I was perfectly fine the next day, but I have no memory of what happened that night. I'm pretty positive I was drugged. Oh, shit. Then they brought me home, I'm guessing. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) No shit. Wonder what happened. Wonder what I did. That's fucking wild. Yeah. So I've, yeah, never, I wanted I've, to never, tell, like, I've never, I've never got drugged. I got some weird stories like, like that. I have a few more out. stories like that too. But yeah, black it out. Like just 
from drinks, but not like a lot. Like I think it was only a couple times where I've really like blacked, blacked. Out. Talk about one of them. <laughs> this one's a good one, actually. Yeah, yeah every drunk, drunk story is a good story. Yes. Fucking, I was up at <laughs> UNH, and it was like the weekend after I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh, no. like, of like years and stuff. Always a good start to Bad a story. Bad breakup. Always a good start to a story. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go up there, like, chill with the boys. It was like $2 <laughs> mixed drinks. I was like, yeah, ladies, boys, beers, let's go. <laughs> so fucking, I went up there. We're playing this game, like, with NHL. Like, this person got this many goals. Do you have to take that many shots? I lost 14 to 2. What? Damn. I didn't take 14 shots. We, we, we had a, we, after the game, he was like, you can't do that. You're going to die. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm not going to remember anything. Yeah. So like, I started out with like, I think it was like four or five shots. Like Five is enough. This Already. isn't like, this isn't like, we're just chilling. And then we pregame and we do the power hour. Oh my God. After you took the four five, or five shots? Yeah. And then <laughs> so we did that. I'm like, yeah, I feel good. Blah, blah, blah. Then we went to one of the bars. It was two dollar mixed drinks. I spent a lot of money on two dollar drinks. Yeah. Like forty. It was bucks. like it was like thirty. Yeah, like Jesus thirty dollars. Yeah. Dude, you got like over. 15 and they weren't drinks? like they weren't like big, but like still, you could taste the alcohol. Drinks is a lot of drinks. I, but I, see, I I don't know. Like I remember just seeing that on my statement. So you could have just bought mad. You could just so like, like I don't hey, know if I don't like get drinks on me. Yeah, like I don't know if I like was buying. I don't I've done know. It before too, like drunk at a bar, pretty oh, blackout. Fuck. Yeah, that sucks. Spent like seven hundred dollars. It was in Mexico. So well, thank God, fucking, it was only two dollar drinks too, because that's like true ten dollars a drink most yeah. places out of like a bar. Yeah, that's true. Probably but yeah, I just money. I bought completely blacked out. Yeah. In the middle of this place that I've did never you, been to. Did you like cause a scene there or anything? No, I didn't. No one knows. Oh. No one knows. kind of like disappeared? So I fucking disappeared, and I ended up outside, got kicked out, and I've never been to this place, never been to UNH at all, ever. Really? Yep. Wow. So I don't know how... Dude, it's... That's weird. You were definitely kidnapped, butt-plugged, and then returned. No, wait, what? (laughs) What? I have no idea. Oh, uh, no, like, they were still there. <laughs> wait, <what? laughs> I was like, wait, no, like, I didn't get I know, kidnapped. They were, I know, yeah. I was oh, like, I could have been. That you, oh, like, yeah, you yeah, left yeah. and then, okay. sorry, but the way you look at like, like, you're like, what the fuck did um, you just say? Yeah, so I just got kicked out, ended up outside. Yeah. And then, and then what, like, I don't even, one of my buddies just found me. So, like, I don't know if I called him. I never really, like, even looked. Like, now the thing about it, I just woke up the next day. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it just felt shitty. And, then, like, he, like, found me. I guess we walked back to the place. Don't know how long or far, but I made it. And there was a cop. And he was like, as soon as this cop came, you were fucking, like, spot on. Like, really? He's like, I didn't even think you were drunk. It was so weird. I'm like, my man. <laughs> I'm the fucking man. <laughs> what? But... Damn, yeah. dude, when I'm blackout, I'm the opposite. I'll, like, I'll uppercut a cop as hard as I uh, can. I guess it. that's me. I guess yeah. I'm nice, because I'm like, fuck, I'm that's white, so, like, I get a 50-50 chance. Yeah, you, you Way have more than a much buck. more of a chance to live, yeah. I don't, I, uh, I usually panic, and, uh, I get cocky. And that's usually bad. Combination, especially when you're drinking, so, yeah. When I drink, I like to not fight. Because I don't really got a fight, but, like, I feel like my mind just like, yeah, someone just started something, I'd say something. Fuck that guy. <laughs> like, I, I try to have that mindset, but I've been in too many situations where I've gotten shut up. I've uh, gotten shut up. I've shut a lot of people up. I have, a, I have a I wicked say, big mouth. Yeah. But like, not like, well, like I can get loud, but like, not like, kind of. <laughs> get loud, just not caring loud. Oh my god, dude, you see that thing where it said the Karen's like the new N word? <laughs> dude. What? That shit like actually angered me. Like I got I got angry when I saw that. That pissed me off a little bit. That thing ain't working? Not oh, okay. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> what? Nah, I was that instrumental talking. thing? The yeah. Terrorist? Yeah. I mean we can like 
I can like hum the beat. Uh, I gotta think of the beat. No. No. <laughs> uh, that beat's kind of old. Song. I gotta hear the beat, you know? Yeah, something like that. It's like, like up and down and up and down ish. Right. I wanna be a terrorist. You just acapella it. Yeah. Ah, I can't do it. Yeah. I'm not in the right mindset. I'm gonna get in the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, do you uh, have a a drinking problem? Do you have friends that have drinking? Yeah. Problems? You know, my family gave me pretty bad genes. They they made me bald. Everyone like in my family is kind of like hefty. Like that's just like the gene. That's what I was always told. So I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna eat." <laughs> no, but um, and. <laughs> Baldness, fucking that, and fucking drinking problem. Really? No, I don't really have a drinking drinking problem. I just go to I don't go to AA meetings, so it's fine. Like, yeah, that's... right. You're functioning. <laughs> yeah, I'm a functioning alcoholic. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got some good stories that we could. You know what the cure for the hangover is? Drink water before and while you drink. You will not have a hangover, <laughs> no matter how much you drink. You were talking about the movie. No. <laughs> I mean, literally. Oh. Like an actual hangover cure. <laughs> Do you mean like a cure for watching the movie? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, you either gotta be stoned or drunk and then you'll really enjoy it. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, no. Oh, shit. Okay. A literal hangover. All right. <laughs> oh, before God. and while you drink, right? Drink water before and while you drink alcohol. Oh, so every X amount, do you drink an X amount? Just drink a shit ton of water. You will literally not be hungover no matter how much you drink if you just drink a shit ton of water. However you, however much water you think in your mind is a shit ton, drink that much water. I literally... I, I think I, of a shit ton, I think of a lake. So you tell me I gotta drink a motherfucking lake? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I don't really get hangovers. I do. Like, I can, like, well, if it's bad. Like, the last bad hangover I had was, like, that. But, like, I feel like I've gotten, like, wild. I'll, I'll just be tired. But I won't be like, oh, I want to fucking <laughs> die. I feel like the last hangover I got that was, like, painful, that was, like, rough to deal with the next day. A month ago. Not that long ago. I thought it was going to be longer. I had to think <laughs> back to it. Yeah. No, I'm not that impressed really, with it. I don't know. No, oh yeah, I, I remember what happened now. That was a, a rough situation. I probably won't get into that right now. But it was a month ago. <laughs> yeah, no, just drink water. Um, I actually saw a doctor talking about this, and I was like, yeah, I, I feel like I always knew that, and I've done it before. But I used to drink a shit, like a bottled water with like two glasses of bourbon, and another bottled water with however much else I drink in the night, I wake up perfectly fine. And mm. I drank like half, or if not more than half of a bottle. No, no, shut. I was like, oh, cure to the hangover. We're going to need that. But when we do our special coming up at the end of the month, shout out to the patrons page. <laughs> I know. People got to sign up for the Patreon. We're going to start putting a lot of content on there. The shit that we don't if record we, goes on there. If we... That doesn't um, make sense. If, like, we have people, we will put, like, some good quality shit. Your camera's about to die. But, yeah. Yeah, so join the Patreon. Get, if we can get some, we'll put some good quality content on. Patreon.com slash TBV Podcast. For as little as five bucks a month, you can help us support our dreams. Of being failures and wannabes. <laughs> I mean, just really yeah. supporting our dreams of being better than whoever the fuck's listening to this, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> and we got six streams and last week. So we... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. What, gunshot just go off or something happening? Dude, there's a huge storm. A storm about that? to happen. Dude, the fucking trees are fucking Because I just got updates down. saying lightning strikes near Salem. Really? And my road just got, like, destroyed or something. I don't know, fucking. Imagine the computer just shuts off. I'd probably kill myself. I would kill myself. Um, <laughs> going to kill <laughs> Um, Last week, somebody apologized for the audio. Something completely out of our hands happened. 
and we will try our best to be better at getting you good quality. Yes. Super fact. Um, the computer that I'm running, for some reason the software didn't want to load correctly last week when we recorded a two-hour and nine-minute podcast episode, even though you guys only got a minute or an hour 30. Audio is horrible, won't happen again. Um, we're only recording in segments now, so if my computer crashes, then I'm just going to break it in half by a brand new Yeah, and that's why we're kind of like yeah. a little off topic, too, because we're L- stopping. A little sporadic because we're taking more breaks than normal. New camera setup tries. and Yeah. Like I said last week. I don't think week, I've looked at this camera once. I keep forgetting about this. Uh, like I said last week, though. Stick with us. Yeah, yeah, whatever I said. Scratch our back and we'll fuck you. Yeah, with two fingers. So, um, I actually uh, asked my Instagram today to ask us a few questions, and it's uh, a lot of them my music fans. And Ooh, we got, we got few, some. Got a few questions. Um, so uh, there's a lot of music shit in it, so I'll just skip all that shit. But I'm gonna read some of the questions just to have a little uh thing in here. Um. Okay, someone did a devil face emoji. Uh, just remind you, this is all going to be anonymous, so all the shit I read, I'm not going to say who did it, who it's about, anything like that. Um, <laughs> oh, no, it'd be funny. So if be you some funny said it, in it, right, and then I, I get a reaction. I get a reaction of you saying it, so, like, people are suspenseful. No, I'm just kidding. Really <laughs> yeah. Well, the first one's how old are you guys? I think we're both 24, right? Yeah, I'm 24. I look like a the body of like a 35 year old dad that's you has look crippling like a 35 depression. Year old dad. And I have the fucking hairline of an 80 year old it's man. In in the face, I don't think it's in the body. Your face is just kind of like I don't, dude. I don't get ID. Face. What on my 21st birthday, first legal beer, I didn't even get ID. Yeah, I was so pissed. I got ID. I think it's because I'm short though and so kind of small. Like, yeah, I just have it. a bad hairline. <laughs> Balding. That's kind of all you need to be a dad, too. Just bad hairline. Maybe yeah. some facial hair. I know, I can finally grow a beard out. Took me like 20 years. <laughs> Dude, well, I've been in the army, so it's like... Yeah, true. Every once a month I'm shaving. I'm like, ah, it's so itchy. And like, <laughs> I've been out for a couple months now. I'm like, it ain't bad. Yeah, no, I like, uh, I've been trying to like keep a clean beard. Pretty fucking hard. I don't really grow a full beard either, oh, so yeah. it's just a little straggly. Down, but like, I'm trying to cubes. get a neck so rough. Oh my oh god! My god, do I shave it? I had to take right. professional pictures today at my fucking job, so I like took an electric razor and right before I walked in, I was just, <laughs> just sitting in my fucking office and I'm like, "Are you serious, John?" Let me see your. T- All right. So, how old are you guys? For the first thing, we're both twenty-four. Um, why has your audio been great, then bad, then great, then bad? <laughs> really? <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I can't. Uh, I have to share it, and I'm not. Yeah, it's it, fine. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just kind of explained it. Uh, yeah, that's funny. We had some technical difficulties. Uh, it won't happen again. Oh, I guess we only have one more. I hold on. What does it say? I accidentally. <laughs> I accidentally cheated on my girlfriend because I thought she was cheating and now she's cheating. I don't know what to do. What? <laughs> I accidentally cheated on my girlfriend because I thought she was cheating and now she's cheating. I don't know what to do. So he accidentally cheated on his girlfriend because he thought she was cheating. Then she <laughs> found out. That, well, I think that's what it sounds. She found out. So she cheated. So she cheated. But she wasn't cheating. But she wasn't cheating and now before. She is. And now he can't That's... feel like a dick because he cheated. <laughs> that is All right, fucked well, up. Let's, I'm just going to break it to you this way, pal. Um, you fucked up. You fucked up. You're a fucking idiot. You, you fucked it. You screwed the pooch. I don't know what See, else to tell you. In my thing, like if, I, like, if I was like, oh, like she's banging other dudes. If I knew for a fact, like I feel like, like yo, why are you banging other dudes? I wouldn't. Really? You know, I I just go straight for the butcher knife. I don't even fucking <laughs> hesitate. I don't no, even... but like, I wouldn't like be like, oh, I'll still stay with her, but I'm going to bang this girl. That's like, true. Like, I wouldn't like... Why, would, you, then it why just... would your first option just be like, you know what? Even though she's my girlfriend, I'm just going to go fuck someone yeah. else. Like, whoa, okay. That's... So, I think I left my window open in my truck. That's depressing. It just rained a shit done. It's probably yeah. gonna rain a lot more too. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe next break. I yeah, up. you probably should have not done that. Either a murdered her or b, but like yo. 
motherfucker. Yeah, I don't uh, understand the logic there, but um, do you, I guess. You know, you're going to be miserable the rest uh-huh. of your life. You keep that up, so you fuck up. So more people should hit us up on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. More people should email Please us. Please don't kill yourself. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to say that. They won't, they won't do it. Yeah, they're too much of a pussy. Um, so email, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Email brutalview at gmail.com. Send us anonymous content or hit up my uh, Instagram. We also have a Twitter now, TBV Podcast. Um, direct message them too. Just say anything. I will, will literally say it anonymously on the podcast. You could be my own mother and I'll put whatever the fuck yeah, I can put some weird shit on the you know what I mean we'll do some funny shit what's the best vacation area you've been to <laughs> fucking I've only been on like one real vacation which well no was... like I've been on like vaca- like real real vacation that like I did oh I guess the whole life whatever you consider a nice vacation to the one that was important to you the your best experience out of vacation so like, what did you do worst next? So. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess like yeah, like my best like vacation where it like meant something. Where, like while I was like full time working and shit was probably when I went to Mexico, Cancun. Yeah. Nice. Now Jade Resort. Is it? Yeah. Wait, what did I say? Now Jade. Now Jade Resort. That's the name of it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said Cancun was now called Jade Resort. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Did they change uh, the name? No, that's what the... Uh, ah. The, yeah, so, like, I've never yeah. been on, like, a real, like, vacation, like, where I flew somewhere, like, unless I was, like, wicked young. So, fucking... <laughs> I, I don't want to tell stories about it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, so I got wicked fucked up, like, the first night. Okay. Because it was, like, it's Mexican. It's, you give them the $2. On a all inclusive thing, right, they'll yeah. take care of you, and then you give them like another two bucks, like sixteen drinks later. They're yeah. like, "Yeah, puppy, puppy." Yeah, yeah right. Um, so like, we get we get to the place, we get all set up, and I'm like, "All right, like, we're gonna go to the bar." And I was with like my ex's family we had a wedding, and they were like, "Nah, like we're tired. Like we just traveled." I'm like, "Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go down to the bar. I'm gonna like just see what it's like." I didn't get home. This was at like six. I didn't get back into the room at until four in the morning. Oh my god! Wicked drunk. Met like sixteen million people. Wow. Watched hockey yeah, in Mexico on a beach, dude. Mexico. And I was like, "This is fucking sick." Yeah, just met mad people. And I'm like, every night, I'm like, "Let's go out to the bars." They're like, no. Yeah, I'm like, what the like, fuck? Chill. Let's party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. That was wild. I kind of did that some the same thing, except I went. Yeah, I kind of did the same thing. I, I partied. I met everyone. Everyone was, like, so friendly, and I was friendly yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where are you from? Like, New Hampshire. Where are you from? Like, Montreal. Yeah. And like, oh, they and have I was, a weird and president. Like, I'm like, I do. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, so it was like, oh, no, yeah, I went when Trump was on. Yeah. No, I went, uh... Yeah. That was my most recent trip to Mexico. That's what I was talking about. But, so, yeah, no, yeah. I have, I have another idea, like I did last week. Okay. So we're going to go chop. And then we're gonna go to a vacation, all like one of those all inclusive things, and vlog it. Us drinking, like in chop. No, like we're gonna do a boys trip or some oh. wild shit. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get fucked up. Oh, but it's gonna be on. Yeah, dude, I bring a tripod and I'll just put my phone the up to the record us the whole time. Only. Patreons only. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, probably. It'd be cool. We could. We no, could get it to happen. I was going to say, we'll 100% get it to happen. Yeah. I told you, I was, I mean, I'm ready to, I have a lot of money to put into this setup, and I just don't know how to spend it yet, but we can put that towards a, an expensive vlog. <laughs> no, but imagine doing that and, nah. I guess, where would we go? We're Did going to Vegas. Nom? Oh. At least a nom. I'm going to go to Vegas. Like Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> Nam. Look out for the land, moms. Vegas would be fucking nuts. We couldn't film that. Are you serious? Yeah, that you can't film anything in Vegas. Yeah, especially not the prostitutes. True, they have the. Red I would have on the red so many prostitutes in Vegas. I would hire a abundance of prostitutes in Vegas. It would be disgusting. 
I've heard it's, that they have like very attractive prostitutes, and they have like like baseball cards and shit they give out yeah. to them themselves. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, they treat you well over there, man. Yeah. Dude, this is so random. Like, how come that is legal? And it's so weird. I don't. It's like um, it's like a wild west of America, like a strip. Like we can still have a taste of what it was like. 50 years ago. I don't know. Just, you know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I like it. I feel like it's it's important that we have a part of the country like that. Yeah. That no. People can just be dirty. <laughs> yeah, well, like, some dude's like, I'm gonna kill myself and fucking yeah. shoot something. Or yeah. I can, if I don't get pussy. Yeah. Dude, you wanna know what's fucked up? Never White mind. people. Oh, oh, yeah, we're really fucked up. Black but, people. Um... <laughs> I guess we'll stick with white people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of Vegas, though, I saw something I want to bring up real quick. Okay. If I can find it. Asian people. Yeah, fuck them. Goddamn new swine flu virus. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could talk about that. Is it the swine too? flu? I don't know if it's a new swine flu. I think it's just a new like virus like that. What are you looking at? Are you looking up a... That and got, I had this like whole dark thing. Like a conspiracy related type of thing? Yeah. Just, like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. But, like, I don't believe in conspiracy theories. Yes, you do. No, you well, do. like, some of them, like the Boston Marathon bombing. Is like, there a conspiracy theory? Yeah, like, that? that's fake. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's a little much. Yeah, but I mean. We we love conspiracy theories. Yeah, this like, country loves conspiracy I don't know, theories. Like, why would you think like the Boston Marathon? Bombing? Yeah, that's like a like if they wild, killed them. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's true. But then, like, it's just like oh, that's a whole thing, man. Like, yeah, I know. But like, we still got to do that whole episode. I know. But like, most of the time, I'm just like, you're fucked. Like, if you think that, yeah. Like they were talking about like the Vegas shooting. When the fuck? I only heard about the Vegas shooting for like the fucking two weeks it happened, and that's it. I hear it brought up in a lot of different things. Yeah, but it's like just control gun control. Right, but like, never noticed yeah. there was so much misled information of like all these guns that they found, but the amount of things being shot at the same time. There was right. only one guy in the room. He got all those up. The bulletproof glass in the fucking hotel. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck, yeah, that is weird." Yeah. I don't know. I feel like shootings like that are so hard but to like, fucking... And, like, and one thing I think is, like, when they cover something weird like that up, it's, like, an inside thing. Not an inside thing, like, a very bad thing. Right. Like... That means it's, like... That could start a world war. Exactly, like a, a revolution type of thing. Yeah, or, like, an outside, like, a t- act of terrorism. You think? I don't know. Like, yeah. I feel like... Because this whole coronavirus thing, I think the same thing, too, like... It's just something that's like you're like holy shit. Yeah, that's that true. it could like cause something between like major countries. Right. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, you might be right. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> the fucking coronavirus. I keep hearing more and more shit that they're debating more about masks and shit now. Like, why is masks such the big thing again? This was already such a big thing three months ago, and now it's pop- popping back up. So you know, we, no, <laughs> so we had all these protests and riots and whatnot, and a lot of people didn't wear masks, and the right. numbers didn't spike. The Everything's didn't going spike? down. Yeah, I, th- I thought the numbers are spiking. But in certain states, right, that are like oh, okay, that open back up. Oh, okay. So in all these states like the are where protests? Trump is supposed to be having rallies. Ah, that shit's kind of weird. That How convenient! Weird. Ah. It's only these states. Yeah. So all the all the, the the cases are shooting up, right? The death rate hasn't moved. Yeah. Where does that mean? That means we're just testing more people. And we're like, we're, I feel it. like, I don't we're know, I feel like we can get more of an, can you get like more of an immunity to it? You can, the more it spreads, we just have to wait more time, but not like. like in like three years, if someone has exactly. a coronavirus, like, well, I'd be like, more well, about to be like, fuck you. Yeah, like in three years, it'll probably be like the flu or less than that. I mean, it's just going to, it's a virus that continuously spreads from host to host. So it can't, I mean, unless there's some very, like, particular strains that are wicked strong, it can't, like, that's what viruses do, you know what I mean? The flu is the same thing. There's some flu that's wicked fucking powerful, but most flu is just kind of basic shit. Keep spreading, it's just, it's not that, you know, you get it every fucking year, and then you take medicine for it. You'll still get it. 
They said they're going to make a cure. Uh, they, they had a fucking uh, a vaccine that was $3,500 to the public. It's like, all right. So you had Fuck enough money it. to get <clears throat> trillions of dollars out to companies and bail everyone out. You give everyone $1,200 once, and then you charge everyone $3,500 to get the cure. It's like, I'm, I don't even, I'd rather die. I would too. I'd rather like, get sick. I don't have Fuck health insurance. Guys. Yeah. Because the army completely fucked me out of everything. Yeah. So there you go. And it's, the government can suck our dicks. It, it, it can, man, because like, it's 8,000. Okay, you look at deductibles and shit and like. Dude, my deductibles it, legit eight thousand, dollars ten thousand dollars. I would rather I would rather die than just spend every money that I have. Like if I'm sick. Like there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. I'd rather just That's die. So dumb. The health the medical shit in this country is the most capitalistic it's shit in the fucked, world. It's dude. fucked up. And I know because I'm like I work in one of the administrative offices that oh, bills yeah. for it. So I'm like looking at the pricing, I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous mm. like this is gross but we have to charge services as urgent care clinics because we have to pay our fucking physicians like 50 bucks an hour so it's like all right well now we have to charge enough so we can pay them like yeah. that type of bullshit it's the country set up like that dude it's fucking it's ridiculous like yeah i don't know fuck this fucked. country sometimes but I, I think fuck this country a lot of times, but if you just kind of chill and mind your own business and keep trying to do... I didn't even... I hope everyone had a great 4th of July. Yeah. Because on know Saturday was 4th of July. So I was invited to a party that Saturday that oh, I already shit. didn't go to. I didn't go to it. Oh, shit. That's on Saturday. Uh, have you ever got invited to a private party before? No, I'm not that cool at all. I got invited to a private party. Well, I mean, it's like someone like we know. No, um, no. But I think he just did that, so I guess maybe not everyone would find out about it. Dude, but... want to know what it is? What? Our fucking fame, bro. Our fucking fame from this podcast. Our fame from <laughs> I was wondering what you said. I was like, what'd you say? I didn't get the invite, but it's our fame, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, this uh, was a... Uh, uh, Someone that I've been friends with, but I just didn't expect the invite. I almost thought it was by accident because, like, I just haven't, you know, uh, haven't talked so to him in a like, long time. Oh, I, was oh, like, oh. I don't think you meant to do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. I was like, thanks for the invite, but you definitely just brushed over my name and accidentally hit the button, but I appreciate it, you know? Um, so I was thinking, I was like, I'm probably not going to go unless, like, Sully or someone goes. So, like, if fucking, like, you went and no one else was really invited. So I was like, yeah. So I hit someone up who was going, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, it's been canceled. I'm like, dude, what if I just showed up to that? <laughs> <laughs> like, no one said anything. Like, come on. But I've never been invited. It was a private Facebook party. I was like, this is weird. Yeah, no shit. Like, why don't you just text me? Or call I me? invited you to a party on Facebook. That's yeah. It's not private. But isn't that like 30, 40 people going to that shit? Yeah, it's like 100 plus invited. What? So if you're on our patrons page, you can see us doing shit. <laughs> Wait, there's over 100 people invited to that? Is it like a giant campground type of thing? Yeah, my mom lives in a farm. I don't know how big to picture. Uh, I mean, it's I mean, they have like a hundred fifty acres, acres <laughs> okay. of land, yeah. like throughout the whole thing, but it's all like hay fields that the people own. Yeah, those and do there. It's pretty dope. That doesn't sound too. I, it sounds like a lot when you say over a hundred people, but no, but not a hundred people show up. We invite what a lot is of like the maximum amount of people you could have? Oh, we could have we could have five hundred. Yeah, a thousand. Yeah, fifteen hundred. <laughs> Dude, like the fields, like because you can you can't drive through the fields, but you can sleep around the fields. Because like they drive, like we can How drive. How many people could you squeeze into that oh, entire please. thing? Well, <laughs> you can't put a number. On I it. really can't. Like I don't even five thousand people. I mean, yeah. I'd, I'd say max 500. Close. Squished together? Not all spread out throughout the whole woods and shit. That's still huge. Yeah. That gives me a good perspective. No, 500's a lot. <laughs> like, people listening to me are like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's Are they talking about a farm where they can fit people in? That is how dope, though. I, I, I don't remember. Did, did I bring it? Yeah, the private Facebook party. Just call me. Just text me. Yeah. Don't, fucking, oh, yeah. don't send me a fucking private Facebook. I mean, I guess if you're doing it to, like, if you're inviting, like, hundreds of people, 
that makes more sense. You're not going to text or call hundreds yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. But if it's like a couple of people, you're just like, hey, and it like, seems like hey, it was man. like 10, 15, maybe 20 people. I was like, yeah, you could have just, I don't know, shoot a text my way, I guess. I don't know. That's but it was funny, definitely by funny, accident. Though. And then they canceled it. Imagine the showing thing. up with like, I'm here for the party. <laughs> uh, yeah. Didn't know you were invited. Didn't mean to invite you, sorry. Right. And it's canceled. So yeah. fuck off. It's canceled, so why are you here? <laughs> Be like, you're all still here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like having a party now, especially with all the COVID shit, like, how, uh, what are we going to do? I don't know. Like, I want to go like a bar bar. Like, so, like, they don't yeah. open bars, right? Like, we can't go to fucking, what's it called? Well, what? South Salem. JT's. JT's, thank place. you. Jesus Christ. No, I don't know. Because I was thinking, like, I've been to... <laughs> well, you know Whiskey 20s? Whiskey 2? I love whiskey. No, like... Twos. Wait. In, wow. in Methuen? Manchester. That's the whiskeys that's on the... Yes, I love whiskey. It's, yeah. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So, like, that kind of place. Not like, oh, no, that's a club. I really don't like club. That's a club. <laughs> Whiskey's is a club. Yeah, but I went there once, and they were playing white people music. Yeah, they play white people music there. It was like, jealousy, turning yeah. things into... They play fucking Katy Perry and, and shit like, there, too. a bunch of black people were, like, looking around, like, this shit hits. And I'm like... Yeah. Like, well, New America. Yeah. That's probably really sounds really bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I dressed up as Jack Black once and went there. Cause, well, not Jack Black. I dressed up as Nacho Libre for Halloween costume. That's somehow worse. Wait, what? <laughs> it was a Halloween costume I know, thing. But I dressed you went up as Nacho. Jack Black to... Nacho Libre. Yeah. How did it? Was oh, it was the greatest costume ever. That's awesome. But, I forget. It, Nacho Libre was. Jack Black as the Mexican wrestler? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Now I'm thinking of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Now you know what I'm talking about. I, think to, I thought of Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I, was that's... Like, <laughs> I was like, what are you trying to go for here? No, it's like, dope cost. Pirate, no. really? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I don't know why I just brought that up, but yeah. Um... I was Scarface on a, on a cruise that I went to. Um, and I felt dope because I had like I have like a twelve hundred dollar watch that I got for not twelve hundred dollars. I got it a lot cheaper than that because it was on sale on that cruise. But um, it's like a huge fucking watch. I had a Scarface thing on, and I had like a big chain, and I was just <laughs> like, yeah, like I I love this costume. As soon as I got to the table playing poker, I'm like, this is so hot. I took the whole thing off, <laughs> like a shirt under. So it like, wow, so you're really playing the role, right? You got a bunch of powder on your nose. You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, like yep, yeah, yep. Yep. So funny, yep. yep. Sure, yep. That's I'll shuffle the deck, I'll shuffle the deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know my friend Hannibal? That's his nickname. He didn't get that nickname because he's a doctor. Either. Hannibal Bears? No. Oh. So this is how the... Uh, new World D ends? Oh. No, this is going to be DJ's next year. It's going to be like... <laughs> Put your motherfucking hands up if you survive 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, I mean, I've always found that. Like, have you ever been to a place? I don't know why I just did that. Like, where there's like a DJ that's like, put your hands up if you're wearing pants, and everyone's like, it's a it's a way to control the crowd, especially yeah. if the crowd's like. Losing Actually, energy. I think someone did a skit on that. Yeah. It was on some show. Probably the, like the Chappelle show or something. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Keen Peel. That's Keen what they did on. Okay. Yeah, they actually did something on it. It's wicked, fucking. It's funny though if you think about that. That is really funny. Yeah. Put your hands up if you're here. Yeah. I guess I mean some. If you're really having like a bad night, I would do nothing but that. That's all I would say the entire time. <laughs> Put your hands up if you like someone. Put your hands up if your girlfriend cheated on you <laughs> and she killed your dog and this and that. Make some noise. Up if your dick's out. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, oh, fuck. fuck. You're gone. You're gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. That is funny. Did, were you gonna didn't talk about sports? Yeah. It's kind of fucked. Not fucked. 
but it's kind of funny, especially what's going on now. Okay. Cam Newton signed with the New England Patriots. Yes, he did. Boston sports fans are not known to like black people. Oh. The sports world. Really? Yes. Ah, that's why everyone calls Boston racist. Yes. The sports Like, fans. from baseball to even hockey. Oh. Ah, well, hockey's kind of under... You know a lot of black people. I am, dude, hockey. I know exactly the time, too. It's when we lost, the Bruins lost against overtime in the playoffs, and the black guy scored, and everyone was in Twitter like... Oh, that word, really? yeah. Yikes, I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. And then people yell it at Fenway all the time. All the time. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it was that common. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And then... Oh, what the fuck? That but then, like... turns me off of going to games. Yeah. yeah but it, it, those are the shitty people, though, that you yeah. just have to... It those sucks. going to get hit anyways. Yeah. You know? I know. Usually, yeah. it don't usually end well. Like, yeah. I feel like at a live place, like, they get kicked up forever. And yeah. Probably, I'd fuck... I'd beat the fuck out of someone. If they right. Did that. Yeah, I was going to say. Are you serious? Jesus. But, um... Well, I I probably wouldn't unless I was alone. Then I definitely would. <laughs> I'm usually with people. So. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be. He's very dramatic, drama filled guy. Mister Newton. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And like. Oh, he's gonna milk the shit. So out like, of <laughs> but like, he already had an interview, and he was like that Patriots interview way. Well, they like you know how fucking Tom Brady was like a robot for twenty years, right? And like he goes okay. to fucking Tampa Bay, he's like, "Yeah, Gronk had a huge cock," and you're like, "Yeah, okay." But did Tom Brady just say like so? Like he already like was kind of like that, but I feel like the sports fan side, like we might see some ugly shit. Man, Boston sports fans gotta grow the fuck up. Dude. Yeah. Why are they racist against black people? I don't know, but like. And it's not like I'm just, like, making this it up. It has like, to be, like, a predominant sport that... Is it football? Is it basketball? What? What do black people play sports majority of? Well, basketball. And, and football, football, football right? yeah. Like football and basketball. Hockey, say. there's only... There's not really a lot in... So it has well, to baseball, be, too. I, well, it's, like, a lot of Puerto Rican. a lot of black players fucking destroyed Boston teams probably back in the day and a lot of fucking fans are just holding grudges that's what my assumption is i don't know but we did have a lot of like new black people did we well the bruins did where does the racism come from is it just genetic (laughs) new england what i feel like new england i didn't think new england was that bad Really? No, I, didn't. I think I think I heard Boston is bad, uh, but I dude, I know a lot of Pennsylvania, fucking even New York. No, like, but like, you wouldn't think like oh, New Hampshire. There's no racist people in New Hampshire, Vermont, or Maine. No, uh, there's definitely yeah. No, I know racist people in all three of those states. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I feel like New England and Boston. What do I know racist people in New York? I know racist people. No, I mean, in no, like Texas, but like, California. You know what I mean? I yeah. know racist people across the country. I feel like I don't know. I just feel like this part of the country is just no. It's just for. really bad here. Like sports racism. Damn, is what I mean. I never thought it was yeah, bad. No, That's rough. Uh, yeah. I kind of feel bad now. I feel like I was very like outspoken Ignorant. at some games. No, oh, nothing oh, racist, oh, oh. but like. I was being like an obnoxious New England fan. Well, yeah, I mean, like there's a, a there's like, like you know, what yeah, I mean? there's like a thing where like you have A and B, but like then when people are like you, black person, yeah, that's yeah, like that's rough. Come on, you gotta be really like you gotta mean that from the heart to to shout that when you're drunk at a, sports, at a fucking sports the sports game, game man like those like i live That's for bruins games racism there. dude i uh, live for bruins games that goes like going generations to one back huh and i could you could literally kill my mom and find <laughs> me and i wouldn't like be like you yeah i don't know sorry mrs like, toaster yeah <laughs> that sucks i don't know i Dead. just feel like i don't know <laughs> Huh? Yeah. No, nothing. It's just the way you were going into it. I thought you were just gonna keep saying something more fucked up. But no, oh no. no, like I don't know. I don't know. People are just fucked, and that's. I feel like we're gonna get bad backlash. Yeah, especially if keep that shit up. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. It's fucked up. Um, so you are uh, not you yourself, but you know people that are uh, TikTok users. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm one of them. I uh, yeah. Oh, you have a TikTok account? Yes, yeah, sad- sadly. So I made one um, because 
a bunch of people were like, oh, TikTok's the new way to blow up music. And, you know, I'm like fucking white trash wannabe rapper that needs to blow up his music. So I went made a TikTok, you know what I mean? Um, didn't work. Tried to make a video. <laughs> and, um, didn't mean to do that. and none of the cameras caught that too. Damn, I wish that was in the fucking, you should have done it up to your face. Yeah, so I made a video on TikTok and, um... I don't know what the fuck I did. Maybe I deleted it after because I didn't like it. I, I Yo, felt really fucking stupid. But... No, stop. Congrats. On? All your streamings. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Shout out. Dude, I got almost yeah. 100,000 streams on just my Roots album. That means I'm almost up to like 500,000 streams total. How, how long is that? Ben. My Roots album? Yeah. The Roots album came out this year, 2020. I was going to say, yeah. That January was this... 2nd, 2020. No it's my shit. most recent project and definitely my best music. Yeah, I'd was, say if anyone's good. listening and wants to listen to my music, don't listen to anything except for my Roots album. Uh, yeah. The old shit's pretty bad. Like, it's rough. Even some of the shit on the Roots album I go back to and I'm like, oh, I don't like this. But Yeah, I, I put my heart into it, so yeah. <laughs> that's all that matters, I guess, right? I'm getting paid off it, so I can give a fuck. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but you made a TikTok. Video. Yeah, the Sorry. TikTok, yeah, <laughs> I didn't do shit. Um, but then I heard mad people like, yeah, I don't download TikTok. I didn't do anything into it. I just didn't download it because I fucking hated children using it and blowing up these videos everywhere. It angered the fuck out of me. Then like six months later, I loved them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, these actually are kind of funny. Well, some of them, I shouldn't say I love them. Some of them are okay. Some of them are kind of cool. So it like builds you a platform. Yeah. So, like, and I don't know how it does it, because it's kind of fucking weird. You have, like, my girlfriend's TikTok is full of, like, animals and, like, cuteness. Then you go on mine, and it's, like, it's bad. Like, it's all dark humor. Yeah. It's, like, fucked up shit, but I'm, like, this is funny. Right. Like, I see that shit on Facebook. We're going on a trip humor. to a place called Also Witch. Yes, right. -na -na -na, it's shower time. <laughs> that's yeah. the song I heard. <laughs> that's gold. So that's the type of shit that I I didn't mind off TikTok. I, I hated like those people just doing. Uh, if I see another fucking seventeen year old white girl just, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> doing some just, just whack some stupid ass, ass song with yeah. some caption on the screen that's like, oh, I if hate I back Homer. it up, uh. e -e is a fat enough. Uh, yeah, e -e. right. I'm like, all right, this is fucking Watch stupid. Me throw so, it back, 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 so back, back. I deleted that shit almost <laughs> instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, um, I I I skipped the video. Fuck them! Oh, I went you know back. To, we're good. What's up to say about them? Fuck them! So I want to play a video from Senator Hawley because there's a legislation, a literal law, trying to be made to ban TikTok. That's how you know it's fucking serious. No shit. You guys need to listen to this. If TikTok, you have a TikTok was the most downloaded app of 2019, more than any other app in the country. More teenagers are on TikTok now than use Facebook. It counts millions and millions and millions of Americans as users. But it is owned by a Chinese company that includes Chinese Communist Party members China. and their leadership. And it is required under Chinese law to share user data with Beijing. Required. And TikTok has admitted the that it has are. sent user data to China. <coughs> to put it bluntly, this is a major security risks risk for the American people. And what kind of data is TikTok collecting as it runs on our phones? What a kind? heck of a lot more than you would think. A heck of a lot. Images, of course, that users post. But TikTok also Sons collects Jackson. information <laughs> about the messages that you send, about the apps that you use, the other apps on your phone. It collects the sites that you visit. It collects your search history. It collects your keystrokes. It collects your location data. Ooh, it stores all of this. Your location and data? maybe lots, lots more. And I can tell you, as the father of two small children uh, who already have many of their friends on social media, even though they're quite young, I find this absolutely horrifying. And we know that right. it's a national security risk. Since our last hearing on all this right, subject, that's enough. The Pentagon, the Department okay. of State, okay. the okay. Department of Okay, shut up. Shut up! Okay, so, that was um, Senator Dick Fart. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck, I didn't start the goddamn timer. You don't happen to know what we're on. 11 minutes. Uh-huh, okay. That's a good, we'll just, I'll check when that gets to like 25 or something. 
if we even make it that far. So TikTok is literally from China. <laughs> from China. China. It's a communist. TikTok is huge. The biggest app there is. <laughs> TikTok. It, it's huge. It is huge. Absolutely the biggest you. app that you could use. It's phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. I'm telling you. Phenomenal. China. China. Yeah, uh, they use your, they, they're, they're taking all your shit, to say the least. You know when that Snapchat, like, face filter up, they're like, oh, it's Russia trying to take all your information. Oh, yeah. This is literally happening on a daily basis with TikTok, and a couple million people, I think over, over 20 million people have downloaded TikTok. So. Yeah, he said billion. Billion? He said billions and billions of users. Jesus Christ, I hope it's not billions. I'm almost positive it's billions and billions. He probably did. That being <laughs> said, China pretty much knows what's going on in half the world. They can get so much information from downloading your images, your fucking data, your your search history, your apps, what you think about other content. They can fucking take all of that information and build a database on the world. And uh, midget porn you watch? Midget porn, dude. I am way past Richard the Midget. Midget Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get uh, rid of TikTok, honestly. Um if you're like an active user on it and you love the website, or if you just don't give a shit that the government's tracking you. I mean they do it anyways, but it's not our government now. Now it's the Chinese government. I don't like that shit. That bothers me. That's that's fucked. I don't like that the Chinese government can manipulate the american government and then spy on me that's that bothers me so i don't have tiktok anymore i uninstalled that shit after i failed to use it i think everyone should do the same but to each his own that's fucked it is fucked you're a tiktok user you're gonna keep it yeah i don't know yeah Let's do it. Let's get my shit fucking... Just get your fucking butthole plastered on the on yeah. Hong Kong's big screen. Fuck yeah, actually. Is Hong Kong even in China? That is China, right? I thought Hong Kong was its own country. Am I thinking of... What? Bangkok? Is that China? No, that's a whole country, too. Hong Kong is definitely the capital. Something. Beijing? Now we're going to sound ignorant, or at least I am. Oh, fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. All right, well, I'm done for my TikTok rant. Do you uh, want to hit anything else before I hit my foreskin story? <laughs> um, do you know Antarctica is not owned by anything? Like it's an unhabit... Un- un- yeah, like I thought it was a country. Isn't it a continent? Yeah, but like I thought like it was its own thing. Like there was an Antarctic... Uh, government oh yeah no i didn't i didn't i don't think i thought of that i thought it was just kind of like an abandoned area with all polar people no so like it's all for like scientific research that's all like there is down there is it all claimed for scientific research so that's what's fucked up because that sounds like some it's like the space force movie yeah i was gonna say like where like each person has their own little section. Oh, that's fucking stupid it's weird so if i go to antarctica right now i could potentially be trespassing on so would they, like, tell me, like, oh, this is under the British Like, I don't think there's any flights. Because there's no, there's no runway. There's, well, yeah, no, there's airports there. No. They get there. But it's a special runway for special, like, planes. Oh, I'm a special person. <laughs> um, just, listen. That's going to be vlog number three. Get to the patrons. <laughs> We're going to Antarctica. <laughs> we shouldn't have came here. We got arrested. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be rough. No, I didn't know that. What is in Antarctica besides polar bears and penguins? Um, there's an underground lake. And you, they only what do you? Do you mean the ocean? No, like there's a lake under there. Under and everything's the ice. ice. Yeah, there's a lake, like a warm one. I don't know. What's it? Probably not. It's just running water. I could. I, I think I believe that. I'm pretty sure but, that makes um, sense. What was the other thing? So you you figured it'd snow all the time. So it's an average of five inches throughout the whole year. Does it constantly snow throughout the whole year? No, like they just get like five inches 
Yeah. But is it like, I mean, is it like oh, seasonal, like, you know? Um, um, like, do they get like, I don't know. Probably just two seasons, I would think. Like, like kind of a summer, kind of a winter, yeah. or a good winter. And it doesn't get more warmer than like 25 degrees. What? Oh, warmer. Okay. I thought you meant colder for a second. I was oh, like, bro. No. <laughs> yeah. That okay. shit's wild. You have to like, get your like wisdom teeth removed to go there and shit. What the fuck? They like recommend it. Are you serious? I feel like that was much faster than 12 minutes. Well, I guess we're out of a camera angle. Should I move this one? Nah, it's fine. Just end with the foreskin story? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, you won't see Toaster for the rest of this if you're watching on video. Um, so we're getting, when we're I'm talking there. about a foreskin story, I may or may not be saying that I have foreskin, and I want to leave it up to the consumers to have their wild dreams to imagine whether I do or don't. <laughs> so... Every time I would go to a party, ever since I was like 15 or 16, or maybe it was 17, I don't know, it was my boy Sully, Forrest, um, ton of people, I, I don't know how to make nicknames for the rest of the people right now, Tosta might have been, no, you weren't at any of the parties, um, <laughs> it's gonna be like boop 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 boop. boop. Um, uh, who else was there? Uh, Sully. That was that's non bleepy. Uh, Toast that wasn't there. Uh, I've never seen you forced. No, seen you. <laughs> you have. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tough fuck. Um. So uh, every single time we go to these parties, whether it was Boston, Haverhill, Methuen, Wyndham, Pelham, every single party I would go to. I would announce, I'd come in, and, and people would be like, who are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm John. I'm like, yeah, I got four inches of foreskin. What's good? I'm like, what, what the fuck? They just like, they like hold on a second. They just like double take me. So every party I'd go to, I'd tell everyone there that I have four inches of foreskin for two reasons. Three reasons. One, because it may or may not be too true. Two, because people will remember you. Everyone's going to remember the person that had four inches of foreskin. <laughs> Even like, if they don't see it, yeah, they're I just, just going to hey. remember four inches of foreskin. So they call me Johnny Four Inch Foreskin, you know? <laughs> four inches of foreskin. Uh, and then three, because eventually I'd say it so often that girls would start saying, very attractive girls, very fucking hot <laughs> girls would be like, I want to see it. Oh my God. <laughs> like? I'm like, are you dumb? Well, let me get a skin graph real quick. I really got to add four inches of voice again. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, well, I need you to hold one end so I can stretch this out for a second. Cause this I'm going to make a look at a hot air balloon. Yeah. I can pretty much make a, a glove or a mitten, however you want to <laughs> stretch this out. <laughs> uh, They'd want to see it, and I'd uh, keep, you know, I'd make it kind of like a, my game at one point, so it's just like, people would remember me by that, and then I would uh, finagle myself into some vaginal underwear. <laughs> that was a gross way to put that. <laughs> and and uh, I'd, I'd uh, finagle myself into a girl's sweet thoughts and happiness. That sounded even creepier. I'm just going to stop there. I, I tried to make it for my advantage, and it's very helpful. Um, so I may or may not have four inches of foreskin. All so right. Find out, become a patron. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see my dick. <laughs> Imagine just posting straight dick pics on the Patreon. <laughs> They'd report that so fast. I am sweating, dude. It yeah. is so fucking hot in here. It's like that fucking episode of Dave where he's rapping about fucking showing his balls at yeah. the show. <laughs> or when he's rapping about show his dick. dick. So like, show you. Oh, yeah. My dick got cut. In a lot of ways, like, <laughs> just a lot of like all the ways he botched his penis up. Yeah, yeah. If you ever seen Little Dicky, um, the way he talks about his penis, I have a similar sentiment. So we're gonna end it off there. Toast. Anything else you want to say to the public? Fuck him. Right in the pooper. Facebook.com slash TBV podcast. I'm gonna say this shit because for the audio people, they might not know. That's why I say it. I was thinking about it. I'm like, why do I say it if it's in the description? It's only in the description on YouTube. Everything else doesn't have the description. Twitter.com slash. So, bootsworld.com. First thing you'll see is podcast. Just click the podcast button or the click here button. Or you can go to smarturl.it slash tbvpod. Facebook.com slash tbvpodcast. Twitter.com slash tbvpodcast. We got the shits. I am Brute. Um, toast. Thank you for sitting <laughs> through episode 666 with us. 
the scotch tape was here because whoever the <laughs> was that I used it on wasn't oh strong enough God. to get away from it. The knife is here because <laughs> no longer returning home. <laughs> See you later. Fuck you guys. Uh, See you next week.